Hi everyone! Today I'll be making some more paper backgrounds and I'll be using the plastic wrap technique. It's also a mixed media morsel, so if you'd like to see Cat Hands plastic wrap technique, the link will be in the description box. I'll be using heavy bodied acrylic paints. This is Amsterdam brand. The basics is good too. And I added some water to it. Probably two parts paint and one part water. I'm going to mix it well. It's probably the consistency of melted butter or a thick gravy. Okay. I'm going to use this paper. Contrasting purple and yellow would look really nice. So I, I painted these first. That way, the um, the second layer doesn't seep through the paint, and you lose the pattern. Because so I'm not going to let these dry completely with the plastic wrap on. I'm just going to leave it on for about 10 minutes and then take it off. I'm going to get my plastic wrap ready. About three pieces. Have a roller and just a scrap piece of paper to sop up any leaks and stuff. So what I'm going to do is apply the paint directly on the paper and quickly spread it. You can add some water to it. You don't want it to dry, so add water if you have to. Just do it quickly. And apply the toss crop. Just lay it down. This one's a bit messed up. There we go. <laughs> Move the paint, move the plastic to create little wrinkles in the plastic. Like that. Take my roller. And this kind of squeezes out the paint on the sides, like that, and then I'm going to gently lift it off this surface before it dries, and turn it upside down, take the scrap piece of paper and just roll the back. And it squeezes out some of the paint. You don't want too much paint on it. It keeps the surface a bit flatter so you can write on it easier. You can probably use this for a journal page one day. up and I'm going to put it off to the side to dry. I'll probably put a fan in front of it and anchor it with something so it doesn't blow away. Do not use a hair dryer because you'll melt the plastic. So let it dry for about 10 minutes and come back and peel it off. Okay it's been drying for about 10 or 15 minutes so now I'm going to peel it off. I'm just going to flip it over and peel it off. Carefully. There we go. It's 
So it's the purple with the yellow background. Actually more yellow and a little bit of orange mixed in. I think that's gorgeous. Here's another one. Light green background with purple. It's pretty cool. And then there's this yellow paper with red paint on top. Still wet, so it's easy to peel off. Still delicate though, be careful. <laughs> there. It's that one. And another one. Oh, I like this one a lot. And one more. This is more subtle, but it's still there. This was a dark blue background with a lilac top coat. And this one was the jelly print. I think it was like a teals and dark blues. And I put light green on top of that one. Looks like a jungle. Pretty cool. And here are all the dried papers. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye. And I'll be using the plastic rack. Plastic rack?